Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Weller and today I want to talk about the phone app called Companions for Dungeons and Dragons 5e. It is created by Ryan Stout. I find it very useful and yet again I will say that uh, sometimes it's better to use your phone and something a little bit lighter than a book. Now if you are having to use anything involving a uh, a druid or something that's going to be summoning creatures, um, you're going to find yourself having to drag around the monster manual for Dungeons and Dragons 5e. It's quite heavy. So I find that apps are really handy and having a phone app that allows me to access the different creatures that I might use or some of the player might use is really good. This is the sort of app that I find my players have on their phone quite often. Uh, they've shown it to me a number of times. I know that some of them use other apps. Uh, it is free. It doesn't cost you anything. You can just download it. Uh, I don't know if you can get it for the iPhone, but I know you can get it for Android. Uh, it allows you to select pretty much anything you want. And I can select here from uh, a variety of different things. So wild shape, it gives me the wild shape options, all of them if I want them, or I can break it down into CR. It um, gives me ranger, familiars, uh, things I could polymorph into if I wanted to, elementals, fey, and my favorites, which I can set. Um, you over here, you can change your CR rating. So right now it's set to all CR or all challenge ratings, but you can change it down and um, go with uh, a one eighth, one quarter, half a CR, or one CR, two, two CR, three CR, pretty much anything you want. Uh, and then, of course, you just scroll through and select the one you want to actually use. So right now it's an air elemental, but if I wanted to select something else, I could. And it's got a little section there um, with a little star beside it, and that allows you to uh, add it to your favorites. You just touch the star and you add it to your favorites if you want to use that particular uh, creature and have it accessible nice and quickly. Um, you can jump down through here. I find that the guys turn into all sorts of things. My players change into all sorts of creatures and Polymorph is one of those spells where they are constantly transforming themselves into a giant ape. Uh, so bring up the ape and you can add the giant ape on to your favorite so it's accessible whenever you want. Or the T-Rex which I know a lot of people like to polymorph into. It gives you a breakdown, as you can see, of armor class, hit points, speed, strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma. All of your stats are there, including the modifiers. It gives you the senses, skills that it has, its challenge rating, uh, if it's got multi-attack, any of its actions, fists, so forth. Any special abilities are listed. Any traits that it might have are also listed. So I find this app invaluable and I really recommend that if you are a dungeon master, get your players to actually download this app onto their phone so that if they're going to muck around with their phone, at least they're doing it for a good reason. Um, and then you don't have to worry about a big huge stack of books that you have and your players on the table because uh, they're trying to transform into creatures. I can't count the number of times that my players have said, oh can I borrow your monster manual? And I'm using it right then and there. So this app is really good. Make sure your, your players actually have it down on their phone so they don't have to worry about one, either having the book at the table, forgetting the book because they left it at home, they can just use it on their phone and get on with things. So look, if you found this video helpful or informative, please share, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make a comment below, tell me, do you use the companions uh, with uh, Dungeons and Dragons 5e uh, by Ryan Stout? Um, if you use some other app, tell me about that. I, I tend to look at apps nowadays. I actually have a phone that can sort of deal with that. So I am quite interested in what is available. Um, if you have any questions on the app, just leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions if I can. And uh, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.